What's good YouTube? It's your girl Miss Golden 83 and I am here to do a monthly manifestation for the sign of Pisces. Okay. Pisces, you guys are second in the zodiac lineup for group three. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Remember you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? Um, so this is for the month of July. I'm pretty much just trying to tie up everyone as much as I can so that way we don't run into a two-month stint um, as I've been doing for, I guess, since May um, in a way. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to look at your monthlies um, so far since I've revamped them and put them on the channel, back on the channel. Um, for the month of July, we had a new moon on the 5th, which invoked change during the seventh month of the year, which is reflecting inner strength. Um, the 13th was first quarter moon as far as any progress that you're making towards your goals and in intentions um, that you've set for the month or going forward. Um, and then the 21st, which was a full moon. Um, and that is your day of completion of things, either tying things up or completing them. Okay. Um, for the month of July, like I said, having the strength to finally change or quit a bad habit or mindset, meaning taking accountability for yourself and your own actions. Um, moon day was on the 20th, um, and then followed by the full buck moon invoking spiritual growth um detox or cleansing the body was kind of carrying over from the month of june because in june there was a full moon that was not only um on the 21st in july but also back in june so doubling up on centering ourselves between these two months um, in a sense of trying to make that forward push towards the fall um, to gain that hour of sleep back um, for most of us. Um, if you've been diligently working Pisces and you know I always get on you guys about burnout more so than anyone else, um, any other sign. And so hopefully you've been getting some rest somewhere. All right. Um, increase your water intake. Um, eat foods associated with chakras in spiritual baths um, continue cleansing or charging your crystals if you missed the opportunity to do it last month um, this would be a perfect time or hopefully would have been a perfect time during between the 20th and the 21st um, to get those charged and cleansed and maybe swapped out um, as far as changing them okay um, again eating foods associated with the chakras is kind of um, in homage to um, a detox or a change of routine or a habit as far as um, eating more naturally based foods instead of processed foods. Um, just a suggestion, not something that you technically have to do, um, but just a suggestion to you if you've been feeling a little bit weighed down or energy levels low, don't rely on so much of caffeine, okay? Um, kind of take in natural things, drink water with purpose, not just for uh, fulfilling or just hydration, but for more spiritual practices, okay, as far as flushing our systems out um, and purifying ourselves from the inside out, okay, is uh, the purpose of taking in more water. And plus July being, like I said, staying hydrated, but July into August is usually the hottest months of the year in my opinion depending on where you are um, but definitely here in Virginia we had a lot of heat advisories okay so I definitely have been um, thankfully I telework but um, when I do have to go out I have still even in the house I try to stay as hydrated as possible all right so let's go ahead and get into your reading um, again all the energies of the moon phases have passed so hopefully i remember to talk in past tense um, when we're talking about the dates okay so energy for pisces in july energy for pisces in 
energy for Pisces in July. One last shuffle here before we cut the deck. which is new moon energy, one from the bottom, which is first quarter moon energy, and then one energetically from the middle. For full moon energy, okay? So let's see what was going on with your energy on each one of those dates, okay? New moon energy on the 5th. What was the mindset towards your intention or goal, Pisces, on the 5th? Meditate and contemplate your sign here, Pisces, new moon, okay? You can look up new moon in Pisces for, you know, at your leisure to see when that is and what um, energy is truly around it. But at this point, it is meditate and contemplate. So um, potentially on the fifth, again, a day of change and also creativity, um, finding the strength to take the time to meditate and contemplate on things that either need to change in your world or um, on a maybe, like I said, on a personal note, um, or within your inner circle, okay? Um, as you see these two fish, you guys, Pisces, um, have the fish that are always kind of like yin-yang, um, in a way, um, and so possibly a lot of that going on at the beginning of June, um, well, not June, sorry, July, um, but energy that may have carried over from May, Okay, um, May was the fifth month of the year, and so that was doubling down on changes that were occurring anyway. Okay, um, maybe based on observation of people, um, and just kind of a spotlight on certain things that people say or do, um, has weighed heavy on you. Okay, let's get into the first quarter moon energy, which was on the 13th if any progress had been made around that time for you guys. Emotions are running high, okay? Emotions are running high. No particular sign attached to this card, okay? Um, possibly with energies running high, doesn't come up a lot in the readings, but it has... Um, a little bit. Um, I feel like it's the opposite of um, energy gaining momentum. Um, but it feels as though emotions running high may be close to you figuring out certain things about people. Um, on the 13th, you're centering yourself, following your intuition, and protecting your energy. It could have been conversations that were had that really highlighted something that you've had on your mind for quite some time, okay? Um, and so emotions are running high based off of either someone con continuously testing you, which has also kind of popped up in readings for the last few months of um, testing your commitments, um, if you will, has been kind of floating throughout um, some of the collective. And so that could be part of the reason why your emotions are running high around the 13th. Okay, of July. All right. Let's get into the full moon energy that was on the 21st. Okay, whether or not any of your intentions or goals had been achieved by the 21st. For you, Pisces, your hard work is paying off with Capricorn energy uh, coming here. Okay, um, new moon energy in the full moon placement of your reading. So, Potentially, whatever it is that, you know, your hard work, that means you were able to um, complete something, okay, 
there may be multiple things that you're trying to complete, um, but one in particular may be something that was really of importance to you um, or something minute, but still um, critical, okay, um, was achieved, okay, um, by the 21st, okay, or let's say by the end of this month. Um, very good work for you. Again, um, like I said, I always talk to you guys about burning out. So hopefully you were getting some rest in between learning how to delegate things as need be, because that was or has been a part of your readings during the beginning of the year of um, not trying to handle everything yourself and entrusting things to other people. Um, but you still putting in a lot of hard work um, and it shows and pays off. Okay, so that's good news for you guys um pisces let's get into clarifying this energy with the general writer's weight here we have the five of pentacles with the queen of swords okay queen of swords is kind of uh pointed towards this five of pentacles which is usually promoting um maybe a change in things, leaving someone out in the cold, uh, maybe giving a, a directive of something, maybe you potentially letting someone know that they would not be a part of a project. Um, and so they kind of feel a way about it, but maybe it was with good reason. Um, maybe you informed them, maybe you didn't, okay? But um, it changes things a bit, all right? but you know not by much it was like i said if there was a justifiable cause behind it then it could you know not have made that much um couldn't have made that much damage okay you were just being honest all right um we have this uh strength card here still with the five of pentacles um i feel like the strength card is of course pointing away from they're both in opposite direction of each other. Um, Leo energy here. Um, having the strength to be able to say no to someone, okay? Or to multiple people, okay? Um, again, with justifiable reason. You've taken the time to actually observe and understand what's been going on around you or things that have been said and having the strength to either be the mature one out of the bunch and do it in a very um, compassionate way as something that also has been really talked about in the readings as of the last few months, okay? Last split here before the third shuffle. Five of Pentacles is just staying around here. Two of swords okay indecisiveness maybe in regards to you having to make a lot of decisions um pisces um in regards to who to involve and stuff and who not to um potentially with this being the last split of the deck i'm feeling the energy of not being sure um of the involvement of other people or you being involved with other people um it's uh, it's if it was two of pentacles then you know it would feel a little bit more positive i think you're again still blindsided by some things because the uh two of swords is showing a woman that is blinded okay and so you're kind of you know indecisive you're not juggling anything you're just trying to determine between a group of people who to include and who not to include okay things are still unclear, okay? And this could be leading into the next month as far as August, okay? Last shuffle here as we go ahead and cut the deck by three so we can clarify this moon energy. Okay, one from the top is for new moon energy one from the bottom is for first quarter moon energy and then one energetically from the middle Okay. 
Just double checking to make sure that was the right one to pull. We'll look at the bottom of the deck momentarily to see what is the overall outcome of this energy, okay? Let's see what's clarifying the new moon energy of the fifth. Meditate and contemplate is being clarified by the nine of wands, okay? Nine of wands energy. Coming in here, maybe blocking things out um, so that way you can take some time to yourself, something that you don't get the chance to do very often. Um, but maybe around this time you had some free time to kind of um, maybe put your phone on mute, um, get some rest, um, evaluate some things, like I said, make some changes without anyone really inflicting any kind of um, well, the word was like right there but I lost it um, anyone trying to sway you or anything um, in in regards to doing something um, like I said as far as like working with people could have been a situation of maybe Again, a lot of people knowing that you were working on a project of some sort um, and trying to get their bid in to be involved in it. And so maybe you had to block, okay? You had to block some people out um, in order for you to make decisions that were more sound for you and not for everybody else's benefit, okay? Um, that's just an example that may or may not resonate. Just take what does, okay? Let's get into the first quarter moon energy of emotions are running high is being clarified by justice okay libra energy here okay emotions running high is maybe you guys tired of being fair okay um or people thinking uh that you're being unfair um in regards to again choosing who to run with and who not to okay um, but it's all about, again, being fair, okay, um, in your decision. One person may be better suited for something than someone else is, okay? It's never easy, and I'm, the first thing that I think of is, like, remember when we were, like, kids and, you know, you have dodgeball and you pick who you think is the best. Um, between dodgeball and kickball, I prefer kickball more so than dodgeball because I always got hit in the face. Um, and I had glasses and it <laughs> was not a good look <laughs> at all. That ball, and when you hear that ping hit your face, it, it changes a lot of things. Emotions <laughs> for me ran high as a kid whenever that happened. Um, but kickball was my jam. But, um, and I always kicked the ball extremely far. I always usually had a home run, um, at least once or twice in a game of kickball. And so, um... I would say I would get picked for that. I can't remember exactly what number I got picked at, but most of the time when you see just a row of people in front of you and you have to pick, you know, who's going to be your best kicker, who's uh, great in the outfield, things like that, okay? Um, that is how you made your picks, okay? You made your picks based off of what you truly needed for the project, okay? And so... It's better to be fair than to um, play favorites, okay? Uh, nepotism is is really, uh, in my opinion, should be frowned upon, okay? Um, to sit up here and pick people for, you know, beneficial reasons. It's about being fair, okay? And so some people may not like it. Others, um, they may or may not. But it's all about the justice part of it, all right? Let's get on to the full moon energy. Your hard work is paying off is being clarified by judgment, okay? So obviously, Pisces, whatever, like I said, whatever your reasoning was, um, it was justifiable with this justice card and now judgment, okay? Um, the proof is literally in the pudding. I've said that a few times. Um, during these last few months when it comes to readings um, throughout the collective, okay? 
And so, um, again, if it comes down to the point of someone else seeing your work and out of what you've done compared to everyone else, it just made logical sense, okay? And so an announcement was made to acknowledge you for the hard work that you've done um, in a way um, in the sense of either yourself acknowledging it or um, knowing that you picked the right group to help you accomplish uh, what it is that you set forth to do, okay? So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for the overall outcome. And it's the chariot, okay? Cancer energy, your code water sign. Um, feels like with the chariot, you are able to move forward, okay? Um, if it's something that has not been completed yet, but you're on your way to um, with this chariot card coming up for you, okay? Um, if you have completed it, you're able to move forward because I feel this energy of being able to move forward with the best possible outcome of whatever your goal is, okay? As it pertains to working in a team environment um, or even by yourself, okay? If you've made the decision to block everyone out and really focus on what it is that you're trying to achieve um, and people don't like it, but it works out for you because you're able to move forward more so with ease than resistance or, you know, a guilty conscience. You're very clear, okay, um, as to what your intentions are or is, you know, whichever one, okay? Um, so let's get into your messages of support in the sense of what is the message of support for Pisces to achieve or manifest their goals? What is the message of support for Pisces to achieve or manifest their goals? If anything jumps out, I'll take it. Um, otherwise, we'll um, shuffle until I need to stop. And we'll cut the deck and pull your messages from the bottom. I'm hearing two to three, maybe four messages. Now potentially down to two or whatever comes out for you. <laughs> okay. And looks like three cards came out. I'm going to take those and I'm going to stop with those. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. And the last card on the bottom, you ended up with four instead of two. Okay. If any of those numbers that I said resonate with you because you have seen them as of lately, um, feel free to look at the numerology um, frequent um, angel numbers that I posted on the community post um, to focus on what it is that you want, um, Pisces, not what you don't want. Three, centering yourself around all the decisions that you make, okay? Four is protecting your energy, okay? Three cards came out for you already, so Right now, you're moving in the sense of it's all about you right now, um, and whoever is not on board or can't seem to get with it needs to stay blocked if you've done that, okay? Now, we have Mystic Star at the bottom of the deck, okay? Mystic Star, which says, Harmony in the Home and Great Friendships, okay? Okay? Harmony in the home and great friendships. Obviously, those that you did choose to um, be involved with definitely um, bring about uh, good connections, okay? Perseverance being part of the three that jumped out during the shuffle. The motivation to keep going despite the odds. The motivation to keep going despite the odds. I don't know why, but I'm feeling the need to kind of place this from underneath your overall to right here. 
in between justice and judgment, okay? You are persevering based off of regardless of what has happened. It's about fairness. Um, you put the hard work in and so you deserve everything that is coming to you and what you are headed towards, okay? Others need to work on theirs, okay? Um, again, every everyone's journey is different, all right? Dragonfly, okay? Dragonfly is the second message that came out. You bring light to this world, okay? You bring light to this world, okay? In doing so, that means you are, you know, pretty much in my opinion, dragonfly is like the cousin of the butterfly. And so you are definitely, you know, um, a social, a socialite possibly. Um, and so you move as such again in the sense of uh, dragonflies are very fast, um, in my opinion. Um, and so but they do give a very um, positive spiritual meaning. You can definitely go and look it up. But um, you bring light to this world. So you continue to do that and you move forward. All right. We have earth here, even though you are not an earth sign. But we do have earth here. Okay. Which was the third message that came out. Acts the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. Acts the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos, okay? And so thus, you know, standing your ground, blocking out whatever is needed so that way you can complete what is necessary for you. Um, emotions running high, you are a water sign. Still, you know, still waters do run deep. Um, and, you know, water does have the the tendency or the ability to rage, um, especially if there is fire and it boils, of course, um, makes sense. But earth is there to ground, okay? Even if you saturate the ground, it does have the tendency to either sink or soak all of that up and grow something beautiful from it, okay? So think of that um, in the sense of spirituality and hopefully that helps you in grounding yourself more and more um, into continuing to do good work, okay? So let's get into your energy for your present self, okay? What is the energy of Pisces present self? What is the energy of Pisces present self. Last shuffle here before we cut the deck. Going to the bottom of the deck. We have expansion north okay expansion north number one okay number one going up okay north is going up okay so following your intuition okay you have this person that's kind of looks like they're on an iceberg um somewhere but there's like glacier and water in some form of like formation of mountains or like I said, glaciers possibly. Um, I automatically kind of take my mind with the scenery to like um, Borealis in a way. Um, but I feel this imminent, you know, thought or mindset in the sense of you have to be responsible for you. And like I said, Others have to be responsible for themselves as well, okay? Um, you can lead the charge in the sense of being a mentor to others, um, but you can't do everything for everyone, okay? Um, just as much as it took you to get where you are um, significantly by yourself, okay? In the sense of you worked hard towards things, you did have people who motivated you, some more than others. 
Um, and so maybe you feel inclined to do for those people. Um, and that's, that's fine. But again, um, I think we kind of talked about this. I can't remember if it was really for Pisces, but it could have been for another collective that you may have in your birth chart. Um, in the sense of it's okay to give a helping hand every now and again, but you do have to be mindful of, you know, creating a codependency in a way. Okay. Um, nothing wrong with, with helping those who have helped you. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but for those who have done less is probably where this justice comes in when it comes to fairness. Okay. Um, and you had to state the obvious or someone else did. Okay. So North expansion says, be guided, but do your research. Focus and honesty is needed to overcome obstacles. You know, you know, you know, your true North. So be brave about the next steps. We may have a number of purposes in life, not just a single one. It is time for true adventure, okay? Boreas, Boreas, which is Greek for God of the North Wind. The North has connotations around finding our true essence or pathway. It can even be a referral to finding a person who gives our life meaning. Finding our true north indicates we have found a profoundly right path in a direction that is authentic for us. So strongly is north seen as a guiding direction. It is the one used to indicate direction on maps, usually with a single arrow. Okay. Again, with a single arrow. Okay. And so that arrow is speaking of you. And maybe sometimes people look at you as their north, okay? Um, like I said, guidance. Um, a mentor, if you will. Um, but you can't be the main reason why other people eat. Others have to be able to feed themselves just as much as you have, okay? Again, honest conversations with this judgment card being here. Let's look at what is the potential energy of the higher self of Pisces. What is the potential energy of the higher self of Pisces? What is the potential energy for the higher self of Pisces? Last shuffle here. to the bottom of the deck. We have the law of creation, okay? The law of creation, which says focus your mind to create your deepest desire. Focus your mind to create your deepest desire, okay? As this one said, we have more than one purpose in life, okay? But what is your overall desire for that in which your purpose is involved okay so if you have you know one main goal what is it you know that is your desire but what else is attached to it okay again the universe is telling you you have the chariot here to be able to move forward with a clear mind okay to be able to focus all right on that in which you are creating for yourself and potentially for your family. Um, generational wealth, if you will, might be on your mind um, from time to time. We're going to page five. I believe Law of Creation has came up before. Not sure if you guys got it before. It could have been another sign that did. But it says here, you are directing energy upon universal law and manifesting the outpicturing of your life right now with zero effort whatsoever. 
This card is saying your higher self desires for you to awaken to the truth of who you are. You are a divine spiritual being creating your reality via the beliefs in your soul. This is a message telling you to acknowledge yourself for all the beautiful things and experiences you have created up to this point in your life. What you have created up to this point in your life. Picking one thing today to create without getting sidetracked and completed. Once you have accomplished this one thing, you will experience more of your divinity and ability to consciously create. Take inventory of the beliefs you have about yourself, people, and life. What beliefs do you choose to keep and which ones no longer serve your higher, your highest purpose? Okay, I'm going to say that again. What beliefs do you choose to keep and which ones no longer serve your highest purpose? Okay, so it's time to ask that question of yourself if you have not already, Pisces. Like I said, from the month of June to July, full moon repeated itself um, the 21st to the 21st and it's time to center yourself around that of what your purpose is um, what you want to do what your desires are who uh, is an intricate part of that um, who is more of a motivator than a taker um, that has been um, one of the messages throughout the collectives of a time to give than to take okay um, but take the time to pat yourself on the back, pat, uh, toot your own horn as it is in this judgment card, um, because you have done a lot of hard work and no one can take that away from you. Okay. And if anything, people should look to you as an example of what hard work gets, can get you. Okay. So with that being said, um, you know, don't be too arrogant, don't be too cocky, but you know, humbly, um, appreciate yourself for where you've been and where you're going with this chariot showing up here. Okay. So with that being said, that's all that I have for you guys today, Pisces. Until your next reading, peace.